Hi everyone, welcome to Last Minute Coders. My name is Vinay. I hope you guys are doing well. In this video, we are going to see how we can save our online Excel data to SQL Server database table. Okay, this is what we are going to learn in this video. But before starting this video, I would like to thank you all for all your support. Uh, we have reached a milestone of 1000 subscribers, so thank you so much for this. I am really grateful for this. Thank you so much. And if you like my content, again, I'll request you to subscribe to this channel, like the videos, comment your feedbacks in the comment section. I would really appreciate them. So let's start this video. So for this uh, small project, what we are going to use as our tech, we are going to use this Power Automate, right? So we are going to use Power Automate for this project and our project is very simple that uh, my uh, Excel file is present inside. See if I go to all of these files, my files. So inside I have this one folder with me SQL Server. Inside the SQL Server folder I have my Excel and this is the data that is present inside my Excel. So where did I get the sample data using ChatGPT? So you can also use ChatGPT and get the sample data like this. Okay, so I have created the sample data using chat GPT very simple All right, and this is my SQL server uh, Which is I'm using Windows authentication. So let me just show you like uh, here You can see authentication is Windows authentication. So once you have the see the authentication I'm using is Windows authentication now do I'm not going to show SQL server authentication and other these type. Okay, I'll be working with Windows authentication in this video so here firstly what I did is like uh, I'm creating a database so this is a very simple query to create database and here I'm just testing if database is present uh, then do not create database just print a message like database exists and then I'm creating one table see again I'm checking that if table is present then just display like a table exists otherwise just uh, create this table so the schema of this table is similar to what I have in my excel as you can see employee id first name last name email phone hire date department uh, the same kind of column you might uh, see up here okay employee id first name last name email phone number hired a department all right <clears throat> so see if i click outside run everything so see cur currently there is no data inside this uh, emp table and message i'm seeing that uh, database exists table exists this code i'll provide in the description okay now what what is our task our task is to copy this data from this excel online excel and save this data to our SQL Server table, okay? So this table should contain data, okay? Currently, like if I execute this, so there is no data, right? So for this, we will use Power Automate flow, but since like uh, this SQL Server is not present inside cloud, this is present inside my local system, so I need a on-premise gateway. Now, what is an on-premise gateway, okay? Firstly, let us see that. So an on-premise gateway act as a bridge to provide quick and secure data transfer between on-premise data. Now what is on-premise data? The data which is not present in the cloud is called on-premise data. So as you can see up here, this is uh, this is inside my local, the SQL Server inside my local. So to connect SQL Server to our Power Automate, we need a on-premise data gateway. Now how to install it? So for that, you can just simply Google like install <coughs> here install an on-premise data gateway or i'll provide this link in the description you can little bit scroll this down and here download the standard gateway link is there you can hit on it as soon as you hit uh, you can you can start download downloading it i have already downloaded i'm not going to download it again all right uh, then the installation steps is also given up here so you can just follow the simple step uh, email you can give your email like in my case my email is this one so use the same email okay this work email use the same work email and then sign in and once you sign in just register a new gateway here uh, give the name like uh, LM I have given LMC underscore gateway you can just write your name underscore gateway then give some password and select your region okay do not select any other region see for this environment the region is central india so i have selected my region okay so you have to select your region if you select some other region the gateway will not be will not be shown okay will not be shown in this power automate 
so you have to select the correct region then hit on configure when you hit once you hit on configure your status will be active and you will see like uh, here power apps power automate here as you see up here right west central us so for you it will show your region let me just show you my <coughs> so i'll say on premise data gateway i'll open this <coughs> so sorry about this uh, let me just sign in and uh, my email is this vinay at the rate and this is my domain dot on microsoft dot com okay and then i'll hit on next i'll wait for a few sec uh, and here i'll pick my account then it will be signed in <coughs> see here you see up here power apps power automate and my uh, region is central india okay so you have to select your region so just for an example let me just show you where you will see your gateway you have to go to more right hit on more okay wait uh, uh, hit on more then uh, so you will see all this option you won't see like gateway up here so you have to click on discover all then scroll down and here here is this gateway is there click on your gateway <coughs> just wait for a few sec and see i am seeing my gateway up here okay but since my this environment is in uh, us west us or east us i don't remember but this environment is in like a us site lmc dev so i will not see this gateway in this environment just see uh give it a sec see up here not seeing the gateway right it is saying to connect to on premise you can install a new gateway okay so if i hit up here from here also i can just download this okay on premise data gateway all right so i'll change the environment i'll move back to the correct environment uh, that is this vk defaults vk solution sorry and uh, then i'll go to create i'll create a new flow in this screen so here see instant uh, you can use like uh, if your business logic is based on some automation so you can use automated cloud flow if you are scheduling something so you can use scheduled cloud flow but in this tutorial i'm just using this instant cloud flow so on press of this button so i'll select this manually trigger a flow on press of uh, the button this flow will trigger okay and the flow name i'll give like uh, online excel to sql server something like this uh this uh, online okay great i'll hit on create <clears throat> so as you can see up here uh, this flow has been generated so currently like i am only seeing a trigger so i can add actions to it by hitting on this press uh, this new step and the first thing i need to extract uh, data from excel so i'll select this online excel business list row present in a table okay uh, then i can select my since my this excel is present inside uh, this right one drive so i can select one drive for business here document library is nothing but one drive uh, my file is inside a SQL Server folder, and, and this is my file. And the name of the table inside my file is EMP table. Let me just show you that. If I click on my this thing, see, firstly it it had to be a table. Then I'll go to table design, and you can see up here EMP table, right? So this is the name of my table. Uh, once like all this step is done, like uh, you can save it. But see, uh, if if your table if your excel contain more than like 100 record so what you need to do is you need to click on this three dots go to setting okay enable pagination give a big threshold okay like 5000 or 10000 okay do like this otherwise what will happen it will only extract first 100 record rest of the record it will not extract so you have to enable you have to go up here go to setting enable pagination increase the threshold click on done all right now this step is done so i'll close this i'll hit on new step now what we need to do we need to insert data to our sql server right so i'll select sql server what we are doing is we are inserting a row so i'll select this one initially you will see something like this right so it will ask you like authentication type so i've initially showed you right uh let me hit on connect my authentication type is windows authentication so 
I'll not uh, use any other. I'll use Windows Authentication. Now it is saying what is the name of your SQL Server. So this is the name of my SQL Server. As you can say, see up here, server name. So I'll just copy this, All right? And uh, just wait a sec. I'll paste it here. Now it is asking what is the name of your database. So the name of my database is PA underscore test. Uh, this also you can see up here uh, in this uh, left hand side you can see this PA test right so this is the name of my database and here also you can see I'm creating this PA test only all right now it is saying what is your username if you don't know like your username go to command prompt write who am I okay just write this command and you will get your uh, lappy or your systems name so I'll copy this and I'll paste up here all right then it is saying password okay so sometimes what happens is uh, you do not have any credential uh, when you log in right so when you boot your system uh, it automatically there is there is no password enabled for you so you have to enable the password go to your settings like uh, this okay here search for security okay uh, see the sign in option okay and set the password okay you have to set the password so I have already like uh, set up so you can set up the password okay once you like set up the password use the same password here so I'll use my password well and good now it is asking me to select the gateway so LMC gate this is my gateway so I'll select this I'll hit on create wait for a few seconds sometimes it gives error don't worry uh, just again hit on create it will it will work see it worked for me in the first go so i'll select my server name i'll select my database name okay once i select my database name whatever tables are present inside this database i'll see up here since i have only one table that is emp i'm only seeing emp once i select emp i'll see the table schema like the column names up here so you can see employee id first name last name email phone hired it this thing all right now uh, i need to insert data from this excel right so here in dynamic content i'm not seeing employee id so i have to search emp see as soon as right as i write em i'm seeing this employee id why uh, by default i didn't saw so what happens is if it is an integer type see this employee id in the back end is of integer type right so sometimes integer or number type uh, dynamic may it, it doesn't show shows okay so you have to search them okay so if i search like emp so I'm EM, I'm getting this EM employee ID. So I'll just select this. Now, as soon as I did it, it uh, uh, got inside a loop. Why it got inside a loop? Or oh, since see, firstly, it will go to this, this row, first row, then this row, then this row, then this row, then this row, and so on and so forth. So it is, it is, uh, see, this is first, it will extract all this first row, then this next row, like this, it will happen. Okay, that is why, like, apply to each automatically. Uh, <clears throat> automatically came as soon as we selected this employee ID now I'll select uh, see this now dynamic content automatically is coming because first name is not a number column it is a string type of column okay uh, last name email phone hire date and department see I, I know I'm going to get one error in higher date what does hap happen what happens is like higher date is like this right 115 and 2022 so when I when I try to extract it in power automate it converted to some number so let me just show you let me just save it and let's test this flow I know it will throw error in this higher date so we will see that error let's uh, wait yeah it is saved I'll click on manual click on test and yeah we will hit on continue run flow and let's wait for for like uh, one minute so if i open this see it is saying next fail so everything is failing okay everything will fail okay so as you can see up here one uh, one to twenty everything is failing reason is that only see up here we cannot convert the value uh, four four five seven six two date time now if I just give me a sec sometimes it takes time okay yeah see up here employee ID is correct name is correct this is correct email is correct phone is correct but higher date see up here 
here it should be date right but what what i am getting up here i am getting a number so how to fix this error you have to hit on edit open this list row present in table show advanced option date time format you have to set it to by default it is serial number so you have to set it to iso8601 okay as soon as you do this uh, this will fix this uh, issue so this time if we will hit on test and we will test this time uh, it should work so let us see that if it is working or if it is again giving us an error so let us wait for a few seconds see this time next failed is not uh, like coming so next is coming so yeah these are already passed that means okay so it is it is working fine yeah it will it will definitely see your flow ran successfully and uh, i'll open this go to maybe let me just show you how huh, i see this let me open this and see this time the date is coming in this a uh, white a uh, four y then this is month this is day and then time is coming up here okay so in this manner only it will save the date in my sharepoint list so previously see this there was no data right now let me execute again and voila we get our data right from our excel file ex online excel file so you can see up here 1012120 john mary robert just first two three just for checking i have like uh, see this 1012101 Two zero, John, Mary, Robert, and every data is matching. Data is coming fine. So this is how we like uh, extract data from online Excel to our SharePoint, <coughs> uh, to our SQL Server, not SharePoint, to our SQL Server database table. Okay, using a Power Automate flow. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to again subscribe this channel, like this video. Uh, share your comments in the description box again thank you so much for subscribing to the channel uh, thank you so much for for one more subscriber thank you so much for that uh, this is not planned okay <laughs> uh, thank you so much for this thank you i'll see you in the next one uh, till then take care goodbye